I want to do another whiteboard today about our history and lessons we can learn from history about what we have to do today while we see assaults on democracy in state after state. This is the kind of history that they want to ban or censor so we don't learn these lessons, so I'm very dedicated to teaching it. Uh, so in 1870, obviously, the United States ratified the 15th Amendment, which forbid discrimination when it came to the right to vote based upon race. And for decades after, you saw a huge increase in the number of black voters who were registered and voting. Um, but you also saw, as we've always seen in our history, a fierce white backlash to that trend. It took many forms, you know, poll taxes, violence, but it also took the form in some states of something called the Grandfather Clause. In 1910, for example, Oklahoma changed its constitution and said, we don't care that you've been voting all these decades. We're now going to impose a literacy test. And these were discretionary, so they basically, if you were black, you were not going to pass a literacy test. We're going to impose a literacy test unless you were eligible to vote back before the 15th Amendment in 1866. So if you, your father, your grandfather, any of you were eligible to vote, you don't have to take the literacy test, but if you weren't eligible, meaning you, if you're black, you actually have to take it and you're gonna fail it. This was obviously a direct assault of the 15th Amendment. The good news is the Supreme Court, not really enlightened at the time, did strike it down and said this is obviously unconstitutional. The bad news is the legislature immediately responded, understood the ruling, and said, okay, we see the ruling, here's our solution. For 11 days in 1916, we're gonna open up a window for all those who weren't grandfathered in to register to vote. If they don't register in those 11 days, they cannot register for the rest of their lives. If you were grandfathered in, don't worry about it, but if you weren't, you got 11 days or that's it. Obviously an absurd you know, defiance of that order. And again, the good news, the Supreme Court saw it that way, struck it down. Here's the bad news. They did not strike it down until the year 1939. So this absolute illegality, absolute defiance of a court order, succeeded in locking out black Oklahomans for generations from their democracy. We're seeing illegality now in legislatures too. And the reason I teach this is, if we don't crack down on the illegality right away, it can have an impact for years.